China has successfully launched the world's first quantum satellite quantum experiments at space scale. In the ever-evolving landscape of technological advancements, a nation has emerged as a formidable force, propelling itself to the forefront of quantum innovation. China, with its relentless pursuit of scientific breakthroughs, is rapidly ascending the ranks to claim its title as a quantum superpower. Through tireless research, ingenious engineering, and unwavering determination, China is rewriting the rules of computing and revolutionizing the very fabric of our technological future. From implementing quantum in space to having a supercomputer that is more advanced than anything we have ever seen, China is certainly making a rise as a quantum superpower, and the coming years will see the nation leading this sector. Today's episode will cover China's rise as a quantum superpower. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. If you are a fan of our videos, join our membership to get exclusive perks. Click Join button to learn more. China's Quantum Power in Space China's recent announcement of the successful docking of its Shenzhou-16 spacecraft and Tiangong-3 space station included a mention of Chinese astronauts having the opportunity to study novel quantum phenomena. However, further details were not provided, leading to frustration among those particularly interested in China's advancements in quantum technology. Fortunately, open source information allows for the compilation of a progress report. China has shifted its approach in conducting quantum experiments, now relying on special satellites instead of a space station. The MISH's satellite, launched in August 2016 and operating in low orbit at 500 kilometers above sea level, has already achieved notable scientific milestones. In the future, Mishis will collaborate with other countries such as Russia, Italy, Sweden, and South Africa for intercontinental experiments. China successfully launched the Jinan-1 quantum satellite into low orbit in July of the previous year. Additionally, China has plans to launch a medium-to-high Earth orbit satellite and several smaller low-orbit satellites in the coming years. If these experiments prove successful, China could achieve unhackable data transmission through quantum key distribution and encryption technology and provide relevant services to banks and government customers. During the Beyond Expo 2023 in Macau on May 10, Professor Pan Jianwei, a quantum scientist at the University of Science and Technology of China, mentioned the development of a medium-to-high orbit quantum satellite planned for launch around 2026. This satellite will not only test quantum key distribution, but also serve as a platform for quantum precision measurement, enabling quantum entanglement distribution over distances exceeding 10,000 kilometers. Quantum entanglement, which describes the link between two photons even when they are far apart, has implications for secure data transmission through encryption. Unlike traditional public key cryptography, which relies on mathematical functions and is susceptible to decryption with supercomputers or quantum computers, encryption based on quantum mechanics is considered unbreakable. The concept of quantum entanglement was first proposed by Austrian physicist Erwin Schrödinger, who won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1933. In 1984, engineers Charles Bennett and Gilles Brasser developed the BB-84 protocol, the first quantum key distribution protocol, quantum teleportation. A breakthrough achieved by Austrian physicist Anton Zeilinger in 1998 is a crucial concept in many quantum information protocols and holds promise for building gates within quantum computers. Han Jianwei's team conducted quantum teleportation over a distance of more than 16 kilometers in 2009 a world record at the time. In 2016, China's Quantum Science Experimental Satellite Project, led by PAN, launched the MISHIS satellite, which successfully completed a series of quantum experiments using the BB-84 laser for signal transmission to the ground. To realize global quantum communication, PAN emphasized the need to overcome the challenges faced by quantum satellites. China plans to build a network of satellites in low-medium, and high orbits to cover worldwide quantum communication networks fully. Medium orbit refers to a height of 20,000 kilometers above sea level, while high orbit, or geostationary orbit, is approximately 36,000 kilometers above sea level. China's previous plans to combine the Tiangong-2 and Tiangong-3 space stations for quantum experiments were disrupted when Tiangong-2 
made a controlled re-entry into Earth's atmosphere and burned up over the South Pacific Ocean in July 2019. The successful implementation of a quantum key distribution satellite network necessitates a broader satellite coverage area on the ground, which can be achieved through launching more satellites into low orbit as well as a larger satellite into medium to high orbit to connect them. While China is investing more in quantum technology in space, Western companies tend to focus on ground-based quantum key distribution through optical fibers. However, the transmission distance of quantum key distribution through optical fibers is limited by signal loss. Chinese scientists, including Pan Jianwei and his team, recently published a paper in the Physical Review Letters stating that they achieved a point-to-point long-distance quantum key distribution of 1,002 kilometers in optical fibers. This surpasses the previous record set by researchers from Toshiba's Cambridge Research Lab laboratory. China has already constructed a 2,000-kilometer quantum fiber network connecting major cities like Beijing, Jinan, Hefei, and Shanghai. European countries, Japan, and the United States are also expanding their own quantum key distribution networks in response to the growing demand for encryption services from banks and government customers. China's approach to quantum technology in space, specifically through the deployment of quantum satellites, offers unique advantages. By launching more satellites into low orbit to expand coverage and a larger satellite into medium to high orbit to connect them, China aims to establish a comprehensive network of satellites that can enable global quantum communication. While there are concerns about the economic viability of satellite-based quantum key distribution compared to ground-based fiber transmission, China's ambitious plans and advancements in quantum technology position them as leaders in the field, with the potential to achieve unhackable data transmission and provide secure services to critical sectors like banking and government. China's quantum space program holds significant promise for the future of secure communication and encryption. Scientists in China have also made significant progress in the field of quantum computing with their device Jiuzhang, which they claim is capable of performing tasks commonly used in artificial intelligence at a remarkable speed. According to the researchers, Jiuzhang is 180 million times faster than the world's most powerful supercomputer. This breakthrough has the potential to impact various areas, such as data mining, biological information analysis, network analysis, and chemical modeling research. Led by Pan Jianwei, the same physicist at the University of Science and Technology of China, who is also regarded as the father of quantum in the country. The team's work represents a step towards addressing real-world problems using existing noisy intermediate-scale quantum computers. Their findings were published in the peer-reviewed journal Physical Review Letters. In their experiment, the researchers utilized Jiuzhang to solve a computationally challenging problem that classical computers struggle with. They employed over 200,000 samples to tackle the problem, marking the first time a quantum computer has been used to implement and accelerate two algorithms widely used in the field of AI, random search and simulated annealing. To illustrate the speed advantage of Jiuzhang over classical computers, the team compared the processing times. While the fastest classical supercomputer would take 700 seconds for each sample, which amounts to almost five years to process the same number of samples, Jiu John completed the task in less than a second. An article published in the magazine Physics, associated with the American Physical Society and reporting on papers from the physical review journals, highlighted the significance of the team's achievement. The editor stated that the results expanded the range of tasks for which noisy quantum computers outperform classical computers. However, the article also acknowledged the ongoing debate around claims of quantum advantage, questioning whether the team's quantum processor would still surpass classical algorithms optimized for solving graph problems. In traditional computing, information is represented by bits, which can be either zero or one. Quantum computing goes beyond this binary representation with qubits. A qubit can simultaneously represent zero, one, or a superposition of both, showcasing the unique properties of quantum mechanics. As quantum computers can simultaneously explore all possibilities, they have the potential to be significantly faster and more powerful than conventional computers. However, the fragile and error-prone nature of the subatomic particles that underpin quantum technology necessitates extremely cold and isolated environments to minimize disruption. Unlike many other quantum computers, Zhu Zhang, named after an ancient Chinese mathematics text, 
operates using light as its physical medium for computation. This innovative approach allows Jujong to operate at stable conditions without requiring extremely low temperatures. The advancements made by the Chinese scientists in quantum computing, specifically with the Jujong device, hold promise for revolutionizing various fields by solving complex problems at unprecedented speeds. While the potential of quantum computing is still being explored, these findings contribute to the ongoing development and understanding of quantum systems. With much about China's rise as a quantum superpower covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space and we will see you in the next one.